Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the Measure 2 on the iPhone 14 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On the home screen, tap on the Utilities folder in here, and then tap on Measure. You can also open up the Measure app from the app library. All right, once it starts, make sure you tap on the measure button or the tab at the bottom right here. Then just quickly scan your phone so that it detects uh, the object. So point the camera at the object. So here I'm going to point it at the top corner and then tap on the add button. So here I'm going to point at the bottom and then tap on add. Now we go to the other side. And then tap on add. And I'm just going to move up and then add. So I'll do it again. I make a mistake right there. So I'll start again. The dot needs to be continuous. If it's not continuous, then it will not work correctly. Tap on add and then add again. And we go up and then tap on add and we'll add again. And after that, you can take a, a shutter button to capture a screenshot. And here you can uh, zoom in, you can uh, zoom out, you can move the image around. So after that, you can tap on save to photos or save to file. Now you can see here um, at the moment it has been cut out a little bit. So we can um, redo that. So I'm just going to tap on done and save to photos and let's see if it actually saved the whole thing to the photos. I'm going to go to the photos folder now and open it up. And here you can see it's kind of like missed some information. So we might need to do it again. So I'm just going to cancel that. We'll try it again. And this time I'm going to go to the other corner. Then up and then down that way. And then this time I'm going to move back out. In here, you can also use the automatic functions. And you can see with the automatic functions, it measures uh, the rectangle right here. You can also tap on done and then tap on save to file or save to photos. Now it's better if we kind of like move back away from the box because I'm too close to the box. That's why it's a bit hard for me to measure at the object. Now if I go to photos, and go back and you can see we can save the files to photos after the measurements or you can save to the file manager and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for my videos